Okay, everybody, welcome back to Sea Turbo Addicts channel. Uh, today's episode of Sea Turbo Addicts channel is brought to you by the letter T for Top Dead Center. Um, today, what we're going to do is we're going to go and this is the new power head that I have that's going to be going on here. Actually, as you can see, it's on there now. It's not bolted down. There's no gaskets on it. I just set it up here because it's easier to work on. Um, but I need to strip this stuff because um, I'm going to replace some gaskets on here. Um, and I'm going to put uh, my distributor on here because I know that my distributor is good. And i got to put my coil on here. And a lot of the parts that came off of the old one are going to go on here. Um, just for the simple fact that I've taken them apart and started to clean them up and it's better to have things clean on these motors than anything else um, but if you look about top dead center about these motors you, you find a lot of mumbo jumbo about uh, I couldn't, shouldn't call it mumbo jumbo you find a lot of information about uh, dial indicators and, and setting them to 0 .461 and .465 and all that kind of stuff what, what I'm focusing on here today is trying to get this set to top dead center period um, and if you go and try and buy the part that does that with the, the dial indicator from mercury it's about 150 bucks uh, which not what I was looking at spending so I had purchased something by recommendation of a friend of mine um, it's this I don't know if you can see what that is that's replaces this um, what it is is a still or Husqvarna um, piston stop tool um, and you can buy them for about four dollars five dollars online I found mine on eBay for ten bucks shipped um, and what you do with it is you take your number one spark plug out and you thread it in the place of it and when you do that what it does is it'll only allow the engine to rotate so far before before it hits that so there's a few crucial things that you want to look at here and uh, one of those is this little mark here uh, the other one is these three dots up here <clears throat> and you know obviously your number one spark plug so when you uh, let me make sure you guys can still see what I'm doing when you uh, set it up on there what you'll want to do is you spin it one direction and it stops you hear it? that's it and you take note of where this mark is you take note of where that mark is you take note of where that mark is you see how they're kinda once this would continue to rotate they would all almost line up so now what you do after that, is you spin it the opposite direction. Now you spin it clockwise, rotating the whole assembly oh. until the piston starts to come back up. At one point, it'll hit like that. And now you notate where your three dots are on the vertical surface right here where this little guy is and where this little guy is so with that being said this seems to never have been out when all those line up that's top dead center what you could do is you could mark and measure the distance from here to here find the center point and that essentially is your top dead center um, what I'll do is I'll take this out now I'm going to turn this. I'm going to line up these marks. And I'm going to show you what they look like. You have your dots that come down and line up with that. That pointer lines up with that dot. Um, underneath here, there's an arrow apparently that points straight towards the center of the crankshaft. Um, you can access that by removing that little screw there, and this whole top will come off. And that's also how you change your belt and stuff too. Um, this belt is shot. This thing needs to go. Um, so I have another one that I'm going to use. 
but I wanted to do that before I did anything else because I'm going to disassemble this motor and I wanted to have it right at top dead center and know where that all locates at. Um, it'll help you in the long run later on down the road when putting things back together, mainly the distributor and parts like that. Because <coughs> all this stuff is self-contained. This one here, I, I really don't know its condition, but I took the cap off and it looked like hell inside there. There's a shitload of grease on it. Uh, somebody's been pumping it full of grease like crazy. So, I'm going to begin to disassemble this. And... Um, after I get this disassembled, then I'm going to start taking apart things on the sides and, and putting new gaskets on there so that I can uh, start reassembly because my carburetors are rebuilt, my fuel pumps rebuilt. Um, and the other thing I'm going to address is these connection ends. I, I'm going to take a wild guess that this stator is in better shape than mine. But as you can see, common on these Mercuries, these things rot out. I have fixed the other ones that are on my other motor, but these wires look like they're in better shape right now, um, all the way up to there, because that's where the important connection is. And mine were broke up there, and I had to basically resolder all this together um, and use tape, and electrical tape, and I, and I did a big write-up on it for uh, the website, um, Sidewinder Boats. But I wanted to get this off and I needed to take this off so I could take this carburetor off, clean these gasket surfaces off, um, and start working on reassembly of everything. So uh, thanks guys for watching. There's more videos to come. Uh, we'll get into some other things later on down the road. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And uh, keep watching. Comment guys. Bye. And if you guys were interested at all, once you remove that 5 16 cap screw there's that arrow that should be pointing directly at the center line of the crankshaft which lines up these dots too so everything lined up on this so that's the way it was for mercury in the beginning so there you go